Are we focused? What's going on? Here we go. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Jules if you are new. Um, and if you're not new, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. I said that really wrong. Anyway, um, I don't know if you guys listen to the podcast. I love that for you. You should go listen if you don't. But if you, a little bit ago, I talked about how I was going to get my first time ever lip filler and I want to say under eye filler, but it's really going to be cheek filler to help my under eyes. I'll get into it. Um, I've never had anything done before. I've never had any Botox, nothing, blah, blah. I've always wanted to do something for my under eye bags. Honestly, because the lights are like good, you can't really see them, but you can even see the lines. So I knew that was something I was going to do like from the bat. Um, I decided because my wedding is coming up and just, I don't know, I just feel like I want a little bit of lip filler. I don't want anything crazy. I just want it to be a little bit bigger and kind of flippy a little bit, just a tiny bit. Um, and I'm cool with that and I hope you guys are too because I just think that if you want to do something with your body, with your face, whatever, you should do it. And I'm kind of just at the point now where like, um, I've just been thinking about it for so long, like for a few years, and I have the means, and I want to do it. And I have the time, and I figured before the wedding would be the perfect time. And, uh, you know, if I happen to not love them, it'll dissolve or whatever, but I think it's going to be good. So I am going to Allure Aesthetics in King of Prussia. They have another one. Um, I feel like they have another one in Florida or something, but... I'm going to see Tanya today and we're doing basically a consultation and the fillers right there. So I'm going to bring you guys along. I want to show you and my bachelorette weekend is in a week. I don't know. I think this will hopefully be up before that. But so I'm hoping the swelling and stuff is like not crazy. But I think immediate results are going to be like, holy shit, why did I just do that? Everyone always tells me, don't worry when you get, when you're finished, like when your immediate results come back, you're gonna be like shocked and like, what did I just do to my face? So anyway, I'm going to do that and I'm gonna bring you guys along. So I'm a little nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous. I feel like I'm just like, um, because I've wanted this for a little while, I'm like cool with it and I'm ready, but I'm also just like, you know, there's something about your pureness of your own body and your naturalness, and I don't want to take away from that, and that is, like, my personal fear. I think every time I see somebody that do, that does get, like, fillers or whatever or Botox, it always looks great most, most of the time. Um, and I have, you know, a ton of recommendations from Allure Aesthetics, so that's why I'm going to them. And, you know, you just have to go to someone who's reputable, reputable and that you trust and you see their, honestly, you see their Instagram work and if it's good, then you should trust them. Um, not just based on that, but like, you know, anyway. So I can, I'm going to put her in the Instagram up here in case you guys are interested um, in finding out who it is. And I will show you the before and afters and I'll show you the few days. My brother and my cousin and his girlfriend are coming over tonight. So I'm just going to look like a crazy person, but... Anyway, let's get going. Okay, I just got here and I'm kind of nervous. It's starting to rain and I'm just anxious. Just in general in real life, like in normal life, I'm just anxious in general, but like this is um, just like more stressed out. So I feel like it's gonna hurt. Okay, I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna hopefully talk to Tanya and I'm gonna ask her all my questions and show you guys the process and introduce you to her. So let's do this. Feels weird, but I have to get more numbing. <laughs> ah, 
this is so weird. I'm nervous, okay. She's coming in soon. Yeah. Okay, pause. <laughs> Let's take this off. Right? Yeah, whatever you want. Okay, so we're here with Tanya. Hi, welcome. And she is giving me a little consultation before we do everything because I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm Tanya Gallagher, owner of Allure Aesthetics. We're here in King of Prussia. So we specialize in injectables, doing Botox, fillers, neurotoxins, and we specialize also in skincare. Woo! Okay, I'm like a little numb, so I like yeah. <laughs> I can't feel my lips. All right, we can continue. That's she was good. just telling me about what we're gonna do for my horrific under eye bags. So. Oh, stop. <laughs> okay. What I want to do is try to support the structure around mm -hmm. it. So where we're starting to get this hollowness of pulling down right here, I want to just kind of add a little bit of volume. See how mm -hmm. that helps like lift it up yeah. a little bit? Yeah, I've been told that before mm -hmm. because I have like a flatter face. Mm -hmm. so. Just a little bit. Um, you have a great cheekbone right up here and I just want to accentuate right around it. Mm -hmm. So I feel very subtle for you, especially since it's your first time. I would do one syringe on either side of the cheek and that's going to support all around that area. Okay. Another way we can indirectly treat the under eyes without doing filler is doing some neurotoxin. So smile around your eyes, like a big smile, like a scrunchy cheek. Like a real smile? Yeah. There you go. Okay. And relax. So this little line that forms under yeah. here when you're smiling, is that something that bothers you? Not as much. It's definitely not something I think about. Okay, good. So what we can do is just put like the babyest dose of dust port right around the eye mm -hmm. just to smooth it out a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's just going to improve the area and yeah. since we can't go directly into it, I do recommend kind of solving mm -hmm. this along with something that in combination. So will it, see how it, there's like that double line. Yeah. Will that get rid of that it won't unfortunately okay. having that puffiness under there the only way to truly truly get rid of that is surgery now if you didn't have a wedding coming up in two months i would say we can yeah. consider filler um, yeah i still wouldn't even consider it at this session yeah i would start you with your discord your structure around the cheekbones. Okay. Have you come back in like a month mm -hmm. just to see how that settles and then do the under eye filler. Okay. But being that your wedding's so close yeah, to time, yeah, I, don't I wouldn't to... risk it. Yeah. With your lips, everybody has their own unique shape, yeah. size, amount of stretchability with their lips. Yeah. It's like a thumbprint. And, and they're all different. <laughs> everybody is completely different. Mm -hmm. So it's great to see your goals and to see kind of what you're interested in but at the end of the day your lips are going to look yeah. different because yeah. they're going to be customized for your mm -hmm. face okay mm -hmm. i do like i want obviously to see a difference yeah. i mean obviously i'm spending money yeah. and i don't want to have to come back and like redo you know what i mean like mm -hmm. but i want to i obviously trust you to like yeah do what i, I know you won't like overfill me or like anything yeah. but so interesting point you said. So yeah. you want to see a difference with your lips, but you don't want to come back. Now, no, it's that, not that I don't want to come back. I just yes. build, build. Yeah. So with lips, it is. I don't want to say unfortunate, but like it, it's just one of the things that to know about mm -hmm. lips is you have to build. Yeah. Like the first session is just a base building session. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't want you to have super high expectations about that first session right. because it's really just starting to layer that foundation yeah. down. I would do a combination of two things for your okay. lips. I would do it. a combination of filler mm -hmm. and disport. So, oh, have you ever heard of a lip flip? Yeah. Yeah, it says it's popular. Very extreme, and, but yeah. yeah, TikTok is yeah. always talking about it. So, what it does is relaxes the muscle yeah, thank you. around your lips. I'm like down here. Oh, you gotcha. Okay. It relaxes the muscle around your lips. So, instead of your lips kind of when you're talking, when you're laughing and smiling, it's kind of like moving forward mm -hmm. or even under, yeah. it just kind of flips it back and up. Okay. Because one of the things you describe is if you're looking for that elevated height, mm -hmm. and you'll, you'll definitely achieve okay. that. Yeah, the and like sometimes when I'm, mm -hmm. I mean when I'm like laughing or like you know really smiling, like you'll yep. see gums, and like I don't hate it, but I'm like sometimes in pictures I'm like, oh, I wish that was there. Yeah, but that's not like my main. Focus, it should help but yeah. with that. Okay. Yeah, cool. it should help with that. Is mm -hmm. is a good plan for you too. So remember, this is base building, so it's gonna be nice and subtle. Mm -hmm. 
you won't be bummed when you see everything. Like, okay. I know it I feels like, like it, it, you're gonna be like really excited. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, because the nice thing about filler is everything's instant, mm -hmm. and you get that instant gratification. Yeah. Now yeah. you'll have some swelling, you'll have some bruising, you'll yeah. start, have some healing time to go through, but mm -hmm. once it settles, you'll be ready. Right okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. So here's your squeeze ball. It's a boob implant, just for fun. Mm -hmm. It's just for fun. Can like I squeeze like it's boob? Yeah. Like I'm going to yeah. need this? I don't like shallow conversation. change in your results like mm -hmm. remember how I said that you could honestly handle more filler yeah same thing with the lips okay. you could just handle a lot more yeah. so you are going to be underwhelmed you're not going to be overwhelmed okay. which is good yeah. I mean ease into it lay down your foundation get your hydration up and then do yeah. round too okay I see it yeah they <laughs> look see so it. good and you can look at your before picture too on the screen yeah. That's yeah. Okay. okay. I can't feel my face. Okay, so this is what I want to point out. She was, Tanya was literally so fucking amazing. I will definitely be going back to her. She walked you through everything. Um, it was like, she just was so nice and she walked me through everything. Do I look weird? Okay, I'm very swollen, but I'm very happy with the way they look. Um, I feel like I have like red around, but they're just like lifted up a little bit and like back. And that's kind of what I wanted. Hopefully the swelling will go down because it is a little bit overwhelming. But she did, you know, obviously my cheeks and they're just like lifted more, which is really nice. Like it just lifts my whole face up a little bit. Um, I can like feel it, which is super weird. The pain level was she numbed my lips totally. So that wasn't honestly it wasn't that bad without numbing. I feel like it would have been pretty painful. But they kept they were like, you have such a high pain tolerance. I was like, I don't know. I feel like when I got laser hair removal, removal on my vagina that was so freaking painful so this was like nothing um and like tattoos i feel like are more painful the cheek it's just like an odd like um crunchy feeling but it wasn't bad and i am happy with it i feel like obviously i mean you can't even really see my bag right there um the line isn't gonna go away but like before you could see like the the whole thing so i can try and put up before and after and then i'll do before and after within like an, like next week when it calms down or even tomorrow. Well, tomorrow's probably gonna be like more swollen, but um, yeah, so I'm happy with it. I didn't want anything crazy and I don't like, I, I'm not like altering my entire look or my face, but um, I'll do an update a little later today, maybe tomorrow. I have to drive home now, but um, yeah, guys. But I feel like it's just like lifted more, which I'm, happy with so I don't know I'll have to go back in three months too and like show her and you know I'm like playing around with it and like maybe just see how it is so I feel like it's hard for you to look at now because I feel like you're probably thinking oh my god why did she do that I'm thinking the same thing because it's just like swollen or whatever but I know that it'll go down so I'll give you guys an update soon hey Hi. what do you think I thought you're swollen <laughs> laugh so don't make me I don't laugh can you tell I can tell not yeah. that much well I feel like they're swollen right now yeah but it's not like crazy right the hell you see? yeah it's not crazy you're lying what do you think it's crazy well I can just tell because it's swollen right now yeah I don't know what it's gonna look like you know can you tell my cheeks 
No. No? Okay. Okay, good morning, everyone. This is the next morning. <laughs> My lips are definitely in pain. Like, it definitely hurts. You can see the bruising and everything and how swollen it still is. Like, I still feel like I, like... I got my lips done and like this is crazy it's you know still swollen still bruised my cheeks look pretty good though and i feel like it definitely like lifted my face like i'm actually really happy with how my cheeks look so um with my lips it literally looks like i just got like all this plastic surgery so this is the next day and i'm hoping in a few days from now it'll be more normal and like natural <laughs> which i think it will but i just wanted to share with you guys what it is i'm just gonna Hang out in Pat's Henley shirt. Good morning. Okay guys, this is, what day is it? Sunday. So this is three days after. Um, a little less swollen, a little more how I actually want it to be. And the purple, you can still see, like it is definitely still a little swollen and very bruised, but the bruising has gone away. I'll put a picture up of like each day so I can show you the progress. Um, my cheeks are, not really bruised you can see like right here there's little dots that's like the bruising from the needle like right there um but mostly they're just like great and they're a little bit higher and i really like it so just wanted to update you and i'll update you again because i have nothing else to say i'll update you again tomorrow and then we'll do like one week and then i'll give you my final thoughts and everything good morning everyone it has been I feel like a long time, but for you, not. It's been a full week more since I had my filler. So this is the final result, and I actually, I'm so obsessed. I'm gonna show you um, pictures from my bachelorette party just where you can really tell that they were done, but not overdone, and you can kind of see the difference. And I'll show you guys. Obviously, you saw like how bruised they were, and I think it probably six days after, the bruising was totally gone. So they look really good, and when I smile, like there's just no gum. I, I wasn't like, I didn't have a very gummy smile to begin with, but when I was like so cheesing it and like super excited, you could see it. And I just kind of wanted that to be gone, especially for the wedding. Cause I know I'll be like excited. Um, so yeah, that is the lip filler and a little bit of a cheek filler vlog. And my bags actually look pretty good today, which is insane. Cause I got back yesterday from my bachelorette party and I was feeling it, I was hurting. So I just wanted to show you the experience and hopefully you guys, I, I, this is not me telling you to get any type of filler. I just wanted to share my experience with you in case you guys are thinking about it um, Or just to show you like what I did personally Because I was very like against filler for myself not for other people, but I was just like I never really wanted it and then The wedding came around and I was like, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do this so I'll show you guys obviously you will see the before and after pictures and I'll show you some pictures which I just did of the like final result and yeah, that is it for this vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think, comments, anything. I'll take whatever you guys want to write in um, below in the comments. And then make sure you guys subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you know when I post more videos. Um, that is it. And the next vlog will probably be like the wedding or something. No, that'll probably take a while. Okay, I don't know. But love you guys. Thank you for watching. And see ya. We're the soul that just won't die.